Hello dear learners, I am your friend Avinash and today I am going to show you uh, how we can build the Spring Boot project, how we can uh, build a Spring Boot project with the help of Maven and finally uh, with uh, how we can push the war and jar file into JFrog Artifactory. So it is a basically a combination of the project Spring Boot, Maven and JFrog Artifactory. The objective of this course is the first we will go through that how we can set up the Spring Boot project. Secondly, we will clean the project. However, it is the new project. We are going to build a new project that is not required, but we will see the final. Uh, then at the third step, we will see how we can install the dependencies. Uh, after that, we will generate the settings.xml, which actually helps us to push the war and jar file into the artifactory. Uh, we will see that how we can define the distribution management sector inside the POM file. And finally, we will build our project and then we will push our war and jar file into the artifactory. So let's go, uh, go through the first step, how we can set up the Spring Boot project. There is a very good uh, website here. You can make your test project uh, start.spring.io. So which uh, I'm going to uh, name it, let's say, my spring project okay uh, then in description area you can type this is my spring project and i'm going to at the last i'm going to select it war so my packages uh, will be available with the dot war and uh, i'm going to take a uh, java 8 version let install the dependent dependencies in leaf and then wave okay now generate the project so here is my project okay leave it let's go in directly in download and I can see my project here I can copy and I have one of my separate folder the project is already there let me delete okay let me paste it here okay let me extract after that i'm going to upload this project on my virtual machine on my node where i want to uh, build this project and for that i am using winscp winscp is very nice uh, when you upload something uh, through the ftp so okay so i am going to upload it under the opt this is actually my uh, target node 192.168.56.90 where i am making this project i am compiling this project okay let's go on system quickly this is my project spring boot project which i have just now created press project let's check on dot m2 directory it's clean nothing is there usually when you start building the uh, your project uh, then uh, repository uh, directory will be created here before that you need to uh, do some prerequisites like uh, java installations if i see uh, my java version since my project requirement is java 8 so i have already installed here open jdk 1.8 and then you need a uh, maven as well so let's check the maven version uh, i am having 3.0.5 okay so let's build the project first i'm going to run mbn clean so it it will start downloading all the dependencies and it's going to take some time uh, depends on uh, how good your internet is how good your network speed is it will take around I guess if I am not wrong then it's going to be take three to four minute Once uh, this compilation happen, once it will be built, then after that we will see that how we can set up the setting.xml. 
so we can see here we have if we go in dot m2 directory and we can see now is repository directory here let me show you i directly been there this is repository directory now if we go the project is building now the dependency is installed okay uh, now let's go and build the project build the wall file So currently it is downloading all the dependencies. Which is required to successfully compile for this project. I guess this will take some time to two, two, three minutes maximum. Now it's going to be build the project. So it has already downloaded the dependencies, all the required dependencies. It has already passed the test. However, we can skip the test as well during the command line. Okay, so we can see uh, now uh, the build successfully happens. It, it's been successfully built. Now we can go if, if we can, if we go in target folder, we can see our war file. We can see the timing it just built now. Okay, uh, now it's time to, I'm going to show you how we can push this war file into my JFrog RT factory. So I have already set up my JFrog RT factory here which is currently running on my second virtual machine which has the IP 10 192.168.56.10 So if we see my current uh, okay I'll show you later on but uh, before that we need to generate the Maven setting file so for that you need to go here artifact then your repository then set me up generate maven setting generate setting you can download it as well and you can copy and paste so i am going to do copy and paste whichever is convenient for you you can do that and this one you have to mention it in m2 directory here you need to make the file settings.xml and since I already copied so I am going to insert it here and okay so now here you need to give the user ID and password guys it is always a best practice uh, that uh, you give the user ID and password in encrypted format since this is this video is just for training purpose so I am going to give it the hard coded uh, user ID and password here. However, the best practice, I mean, uh, it's not always recommendable. Uh, you always put the user ID and password in encrypted format while working in the productions. That is the good practice. Okay, let me change the name. Okay, then after that you can see that uh, my repository details is given here already. Let's save this file, nothing required much. Let's go back to the project. 
Now, second thing is that you need to mention the distribution section. So your POM file can understand that where I need to push this jar. That is the, uh, uh, I mean that in POMs, uh, in POM file, you need to mention your JFrog artifact details. And how we can get it? That let's suppose this is uh, the repository. Then you go set me up and just below you can see this section distribution management sections you need to define inside your POM file. So I am going to copy it. Let me open my pom.xml and I am just putting below uh, this project. Let's do better some alignment while doing copy and paste. It is not in correct order. Now, secondly, you need to do the same thing for second repository. I'm copying this part only. Now here you can see that uh, it is also the same like uh, uh, there is a JFrog artifact details is given the name of my repository is given and ID is given. So my two repository snapshot and central lips release is given here. Let's save this file and now nbn clean install and deploy so it will not only it will only the install it compile the uh, project it build the war file but also it pushes my war file into the jfrog artifactory let's see so now you can see that it's communicating with my artifactory Hey guys, if you need any kind of help uh, regarding uh, how we can set up the JFrog Artifactory, so you can uh, write uh, me uh, in comment sections and I will help you how we can set up the JFrog Artifactory and all the administrative command uh, which help you to manage the uh, JFrog Artifactory in very uh, kind of master way that uh, you can always write me and then I'll help you on this. Okay, so you we can see that now a build successfully happens and as well as we have successfully uploaded the war file inside the JFrog artifactory. It's time to check now. Okay, so in my artifactory, if we go here, com example demo, and then if you go here, let me refresh first, sorry. So we can see here my project, my spring project is now listed in my artifactory, in my repository and the POM file which we have built it, this one, right, it is appear now. So we have seen that we have successfully built the project and finally we have successfully uh, pushed our uh, war file into the JFrog artifactory. Uh, by time you can verify that this is the latest one, the war file. And you can see the system time also. Just two minutes ago, we have built it. The war file time. Yeah, that's it for this lecture, guys. So, if you need any kind of help uh, on this video uh, uh, regarding about JFrog, Maven, Spring Boot, and uh, if you have any query, just write me. Uh, you can email me uh, or write me in comment section areas. And yes, if you like this video, then please uh, share it, subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. So next time, whenever I upload my next video, you will get the notification. Thank you so much.